Hello guys, how are you all? This is Prashant. So I welcome you all today's topic. So today we are going to learn evaluation of a Boolean expressions because we are going to get such type of questions in the exam time. So you we have to discuss one question and let's understand what is a Boolean expression. So uh, last time we discussed about the AND or NOT gate and now we have the Boolean expression. So, so let's understand the concept. For example, if we write, if we want to represent, if we want to represent in the truth table, so how will we do this? So as you can see, just now I converted this statement in this way. So what I did only, uh, okay, first of all I read it for you, x plus yz whole bar plus z bar, okay. This is the bar on the both the things and this is the bar on the separate z. So uh, you can see here x plus y dot z. y dot z means here you can see this is the dot operator, okay, this is the dot operator. Purposely, you are, uh, I have not put here because you are going to get the questions like this and you have to understand that you have to put the dot operator here, okay. Now, you have a three possible combinations. First, x, second is y, third is z. x, y, z are the po three possible combination of three values. That means n equals to 3. Now, we have the formula 2 to the power n. 2 to the power n means 2 to the power 3. That is going to do 2 multiply 3 times. 2 to the 4 to the 8. That means it will generate a one value, one possible value will generate 8 signals. So make it sure this table is very important. How to draw this table, how to make this table, that is very important. Now let's understand. Now you have 8. So first you have to start x, y and z. Now x will generate the 8 values. So how will it will generate? Binary forms it have to generate. So divide by 2, 2 to the 4, 2, 4 the 8 sorry, 2, 4 the 8. So what you have to do, begin with the 0, 4 times 0 and 4 times 1. Okay, 4 times 0 and 4 times 1. Okay, this is a shortcut to write down the things, to memorize the things. Otherwise, this is the binary of 0, this is the binary of 1, this is the binary of 2, this is the binary of 3. So like that you can remember. Okay, it is a shortcut way to represent the thing. That's why I'm giving the shortcut so that in the exam it will be easy to you. Now 4 we are getting here. Now 4 divided by 2. This 4 is divided by 2. 2 to the 4, 2 to the 4, now you are going to get 2, so you can see here 2 times 0, 2 times 0 and 2 times 1, here you can see 2 times 0, again 2 times 1, always make it sure, please remember this thing, I am repeating again and again, 2 times 0, 2 times 1, 2 times 0, 2 times 1, always start from the 0, okay, 0, now this 2 will come here, remaining 1, 2 divided by 2, 2 ones are 2, so now you are getting 1, so 1 times 0 and 1 times 1, 1 times 0, 1 times 1, 1 times 0 and 1 times 1. I hope this table is clear to everyone how to draw this table, okay. So now let's continue, we have to do the first of all the calculation. So whatever we are going to do, first of all we are going to solve the dot operator, make it sure first of all we have, we are doing the board math in the math, similarly we have to do the multiplication of the things, so let's multiply. So here you can see, just now I am going to find out the y dot z. So y dot z, y dot z means 0, 0 is a 0, 0, 1 is a 0, 1, 0 is a 0, 1, 1 is a 1. This is the important point. 0, 0 is a 0, 0, 1 is a 0, 1, 0 is a 0 and 1, 1 is a 1. So I think this is pretty clear to everyone how to get this values. Now we are going to get the converse, com means the opposite of this, means the complement value of that. So you can see opposite of this, you can see, okay, and uh, you can see here also, this is, you can see here, and this you can see here, okay, so we are getting the opposite of the values, opposite of 0 is 1, opposite of 0 is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0, so like that you can do. Now, we have to add x, now we are going to solve these two terms, so x plus y dot z bar. So here, here you can see we got till here, now we are going to get x. So we have to add this value and this value. I am going to take this 0 plus 1 is going to be 1, 0 plus 1 it is going to be 1. So like that you can understand, you can read out the table okay, that, uh, that I have done for you. So you can see how, see this thing. Now, now we have to add the last value which is z, z complement. So z complement, z is given here, so complement you can get it like this and after that you are going to get the resultant value in this way. So 
you have to add this both the values so 1 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 0 0 1 means 0 plus 0 1 0 1 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 so this is the resultant value that you are going to get so make it sure that you have to remember you are going to get two marks question from this chapter from this particular topic okay so you can see but uh, practice time you have to do these questions for yourself i hope the today's lecture is clear to you today's topic is clear to you we will meet in the next lesson thank you have a nice day bye bye everyone please like and subscribe